hello my friends welcome to another exciting one today we are going to take a look at how we can convert this boring looking render into a very cool beautiful and a professional render with the help of some lighting tricks and some goggles so open up your blender and let's go hi guys so as you can see we are right inside blender i've already made the scene already i've set up the scene since today we are just going to focus on the lighting aspect of of our scene so i have four area lights here and then i have my cosmetic bottles with some elements inside our scene so if you take a look at this side you can see what we have already the scene is looking a bit boring and plain so let's take a look at how we can add a little bit of depth into the scene using a sports light and then a gobo so basically a gobo is just a png a black and white image that you can create inside illustrator and then we are going to use this as a mask onto the spotlight to create the effect we are looking at so all these are examples of gobos i have you can check the description for more details so let's see how we can add in a gobo you can download some online for free or you can create them on your own using illustrator just any black and white image is going to work right so first to add in our gobo let's add in a spotlight so let's do shift plus a and then let's locate our lights like this and then let's hit on spot to add in a spotlight so the spotlight is added right in the middle let's do g and let's bring it up like this right so we have the spotlight here let's go to our lighting properties and then let's increase the power to let's say thousand so that we can see the effect right so as you can see the spotlight is affecting our scene let's drag and bring it to this side a bit and then let's see how we can add in our gobos so with the spotlight selected with the spotlight active make sure you you you, are, you have your shader editor at this side right so with our shader editor window here select the spotlight and then let's take on use notes so that we'll be able to apply some notes to the spotlight right so once you do that you have a light output node like this and then an emission node like this right which you can change the color and some cool other stuff right so with the emission node selected let's hit on ctrl plus t to add in an image texture mapping which is mapped to the uv right so make sure you have your node wrangler add-on active just to be able to apply this command but if it's not active just do shift a Look for your image texture and then look for mapping texture and then texture coordinate and then link all of them together and then link it to the color right so we are going to apply our image texture here right so let's hit on open and then let's look for our gobos where we save them so wherever you saved your gobo you can download some online or you can create some by yourself using illustrator photoshop or any other file of your choice you know that um app of your choice i also have some you can check the link in the description below so first let me just import this one into our scene and then this is what we have right as you can see it's been applied here now there are a few things we need to tweak to make this look very nice and beautiful so first if we take a look at the lighting properties here first let's increase the radius so the more the radius the more softer our light becomes now the radius is set to zero you see we have a very hard leaves here so let's increase the radius a bit like this and as you can see the more we increase the radius the softer the lighting becomes and the more beautiful it becomes next we can increase the spot size right so it's now set to 45 you can increase it up or down to increase how it affects our scene and then next we can increase the blend right so how it blends into the background so the higher the blend goes the more it blends into the background and then the if we make it zero you can see you have some hard edges here but then if we increase the blend it blends into the background very nicely so next we can just bring it to this side and then just position it into our scene very nicely so just like that we've changed the way our lighting looks we've adding a little bit of depth into our scene to make our render look more appealing right 
So I can just, with this setup, I can just play around and find the best gobo that works for me. Right? Like this. As simple as that. So that's it for today. I hope you learned something new. If you haven't, please don't forget to subscribe and like and share the video. Please check out my cosmetic bottles pack, which contains 20 cosmetic bottles, 5 pre-made scenes, materials, gobos, and a lot more to help you create professional-looking cosmetic renders in no time. Link in the description below.